starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. There's something I forgot. Mom had everything you were supposed to take all set out. Pressure cooker, jars, jar lids, jar rubbers. What's your mom gonna can? Jellies? Preserves? Green baits. Don't you remember, Lassie? Something else we were supposed to do. Well, you'll find out when you get home. Well, that's what worries me. Oh, well, come on, girl, let's go. Well, I phoned Bertie a half an hour ago. She said you and Porky left her kitchen at 4 o'clock. Well, I guess it was about that time. Never mind about those things now. I'm worried about giving you up. It took him almost two hours to come from the Brockway. How'd you travel? The way of the North Pole? We had a little accident. Were you using the cooker as a football? It's a long story, Mom. Then I haven't time to hear it. I'm going to be late as it is. Late? Late as aid at the church. Oh, golly, that was it. Jeff, the last thing I said to you this morning was... Be home before five. I know. Yeah, there was something, but I couldn't remember. Jeff, you never remember to be on time. I'm sorry. And you're always sorry. Honey, I try to be patient with you, but I do think that you're reaching an age where you can have some respect for time, schedules, other people's as well as your own. Like it or not, we live by the clock. I lose track of time. I know. I left a plate for you on the stove. Thanks, Mom. This game about over? May take the rest of the night. What do you have to show me? Well, if uh, I may interrupt long enough, Dad. Oh, well, sure. It gives a man time enough to think. <laughs> Think it won't help this time. <laughs> Come on, Mom, what you got to show me? Oh. Something that belonged to your father. Something that I I know he would have wanted you to have. I've been waiting for the right time, and I I think maybe this is it. Your father wore that all through the war. <laughs> he was he was very proud of it. It's beautiful. So pretty, it scares you. Owning a watch like this is a big responsibility, Jeff. So, I decided that you must prove yourself worthy to wear it. Oh, sure, Mom. But how? Another one! I want you to have this one now. And then, when you have shown me that you've learned to respect time, then you may wear your father's watch to church and do other special occasions. Fair enough? Oh, it sure is. Thanks a lot, Mom. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Now, no more excuses. You can't, uh, well, as someone says, uh, lose all track of time anymore. I'll expect you to be punctual. Oh, don't worry, Mom. From now on, Lassie and me, Lassie and I, we're gonna turn over a new leaf. We'll never be late again, right, girl? <laughs> and from now on, Gramps, there'll be a one-minute time limit on each play. One minute? Now, hold on. Five seconds. I don't know as I'm going to approve of this leaf turning of his. <laughs> Twelve seconds. <laughs> seconds. What's that? Time it took me to ride from my backyard to school. Why write it down? I'm gonna make out a schedule. Figure out how much time each thing we do ought to take. That doesn't sound like much fun. Sure it is. Why don't you ask your dad to get you a watch? Too many clocks in our house now. Lassie, I'll see you in an hour and 33 minutes. First recess. You want to be late? I wouldn't mind. See you later, Paul. before how much time was wasted. So I'm setting up a schedule for all of us. All of us? Sure. No need to include me. I mean, I got my own system. There's plenty of room for improvement. All the way around. You ain't making me live up to any schedule. Come on, girl. We got... Four minutes and 23 seconds to get ready for bed. Four minutes and 23 seconds? Come on, Lassie. You're wasting time. Hey, wait! What's the matter? You and your schedule. I don't even have time to catch my breath anymore. Who says you gotta breathe? It's gotten to be a habit. You know, maybe Sunday Mom will let me wear my dad's watch to Sunday school. Wait till you see it. I wish your mother had never given you the one you got. Got any time on that schedule of yours for playing tomorrow? Sure, one to four. In your house? Bring your water pistol. Say, for Saturday, could we maybe forget the schedule? Time's just as important Saturday as it is during the week. I'll see you at one o'clock. Come on, Lassie. So long, Jeff. I wish he'd forget to wind that watch. Oh, you decided to use it, I see. <laughs> Couldn't put off canning those beans any longer. They'd spoil. Never trust a steam gadget. Looks like one of the first made, too. Doing the job. Well, still pretty risky with that busted safety valve there. Oh, I'm keeping close check on the time. I allow an hour for the beans, and so far... Five more minutes, Mom. Oh, thank you, dear. I forgot we had an automatic timer on the place. <laughs> Jeff, take the place of my safety valve. Sure, you can just relax, Gramps. Relax? I haven't had a chance since you got that darn watch. Hi. 
Hi. You're right on time. And you got me doing it, too. We'll be out in the barn, Mom. Bye, dear. You all through? No, have at least two more batches. Where are you off to? Well, I thought I'd go in and waste a little time. <laughs> Here, Porky, this is yours. Thanks. No, Porky! You must have drink my ammunition. Put it up somewhere. It's where I can't get it. Okay. Okay, ready? No, just one minute. I want to take my watch off so it won't get wet. Yeah, that'd be a real shame. You and Pokey can hide first. Okay. Let's go get him. <laughs> now, I just started this. So if you'll turn the gas off in exactly one hour... Oh, sure, Mom. That'll be it. Oh, I forgot. I took it off so it wouldn't get wet. Well, let's see. Say I started it right at three. Then I'll turn the gas off at four. Four on the dot. Now, don't forget. Forget? More than likely the sun will forget to come up. Don't worry, Mom. I'll keep close check. Say, do you think that tomorrow I might wear Dad's watch to church? We'll see. Let's get going. We won't be gone, Mom. Ooh, after three already. It's certainly good and right if I turn it back. Should I do it? What you doing? Just fixing things like you said. What'd your mom want? She and Gramps had to go into town. She wanted me to keep an eye on things. Okay, Porky. I'm giving you, you and Pokey, exactly two minutes to hide. Uh, what is two minutes? Hey! Do you trust your watch? Oh, sure. You still got another half hour to play. Well, you hide your eyes now. It's my turn. Come on, Lassie. Oh! <laughs> 
We'll take him prisoner. Go in the kitchen and get my rope. Get my rope, girl, in the kitchen. Shut off the cooker yet? No, I've I've still got more than ten minutes. Oh wait a minute, I'll do I'll, I'll do it. Tell how seriously she's been hurt. You gotta do something. Oh, Lassie, please open your eyes, girl. Please. Oh. Come on, Lassie. Come on up. You can make it. Come on. Do you think she's all right, Mom? She seems to be. Likely caught her a glance and blow. She's just stunned. We still ought to have Doc Weaver check her. We will. Jeff, you've been doing so well. Now, why didn't you keep your promise? But, Mom, I, I... counted on you to turn the gas off promptly at 4 o'clock. Oh, I was going to. When? At 4? I've, I've still got 10 more minutes. Well, your watch is more than a half hour slow. I checked it just before we started playing. The first time I counted on for something important, it was wrong. Well, maybe you hit it accidentally. Yeah, I got water in. I was real careful. I guess maybe it's my fault. How could it be your fault? Because I set the watch back a half an hour. What'd you do a crazy thing like that for? Because I was so sick about watching the schedule. I just meant it to be a joke. I didn't mean to hurt Lassie. I didn't mean to hurt anybody at all, honest. Of course you didn't, Porky. You had some nerve. Now, just a minute, Jeff. Porky was wrong, but it was partly your fault. My fault? Mm hmm Your schedule for all of us was just too tight. Now, you worried poor Gramps nearly half to death. Amen. You didn't even allow Lassie to finish eating, and it was finally Porky who revolted. I was just trying to earn Dad's watch. Oh, oh, darling, I know that. But you tried too hard. You forgot that time is, is something to use. You let it become your master, to use you, use all of us. Now, being a slave to time is, can be just as bad as, as being careless with it. Now, this, this isn't an easy thing to learn. Lots of people never do. And, honey, I have a feeling that maybe I'm partly to blame. But using time the best way that you can without letting it rule you, well, it's, it's worth a little work. Do you understand? And now, Porky, we know you didn't mean to hurt anyone, but you see now how serious the consequences might have been? It's never safe to tamper with time, honey. And the next time that you want to play a practical joke, you remember what happened to Lassie. You figuring to have beans for supper? Oh, Dad. <laughs> well, I'll need some volunteers for a cleanup crew. Me. Me too. Lassie girl, you better take it easy for a while. 
I'll get the mops and brooms. Now watch out for the glass. Oh, don't worry, Gramps. We should have all this cleaned up in... in no time at all. <laughs> That's the idea, honey. And Jeff, I'd like for you to wear your dad's watch to church tomorrow. Oh, boy. Thanks, Mom. All right, go to work. Oh, sorry, dear.